What is a skeptic? What is a skeptic? That's a mighty fine question right there. What is a skeptic? Skepticism has a long historical tradition dating back to the ancient Greeks. Like when the philosopher Socrates observed, All I know is that I know nothing. What happened to the Parthenon? Of course, that kind of know-nothing skepticism is just silly. If you were skeptical about everything, you'd have to be skeptical about your own skepticism. Is it just me, or has he not really said anything yet? Modern skepticism is embodied in the scientific method. It's about gathering data and testing claims made about natural phenomena. That's phenomenal! But a claim becomes a fact only when it is confirmed by investigation and observation to such an extent that reason demands our temporary agreement. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. We test, observe, and confirm claims, then they become facts, and we're done. That's easy, I can do that. Well, not so fast. All facts in science are provisional. That means they're subject to challenge, and ultimately, even to change. Oh boy, here we go. That means skepticism is a method leading to provisional conclusions. Oh, I am getting such a headache. But some claims, such as water dowsing, ESP, and creationism, have been tested and failed those tests so completely, so many times, that we can provisionally conclude they're not true. Sounds to me like you're just a big fat claim denier. No. We do need to test and investigate claims, but proper skepticism begins with a mind open to the possibility that the claim could be true. We just need to see the compelling evidence that the claim is true before we believe it. Okay, that actually sounds fairly reasonable. And when claims have been tested and the results are inconclusive, we withhold judgment and continue to formulate hypotheses and theories until we gather the evidence needed to reach a provisional conclusion. Okay. I see what you're trying to do here. You're trying to sound all reasonable so that people don't think you're a regular old cynic. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Shermer. I am onto you, and that is so cynical. We really aren't just a bunch of grumpy old curmudgeons who are unwilling to accept any new claim that challenges the status quo. Curmudgeon, hold on there, fella. I need to hop into my horse and buggy and head out to my temperance meeting. But does Grover Cleveland know you've stolen his vocabulary? Skepticism is simply a provisional approach to claims. It's the application of the methods of science and of reason to any and all ideas. No sacred cows allowed. Oh boy, my Hindu friends are not gonna like that. The key to skepticism is to continually and vigorously apply the methods of science in order to navigate between know-nothing skepticism and believe everything credulity. 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 That just means being too eager to believe everything anyone says. Eager. Eager. E-A-G-E-R, is that? Eager just means wanting to do or have something very much. I don't believe you, nor am I eager to do so. Ultimately, a good skeptic tries to follow the efforts of the philosopher Baruch Spinoza, who wrote, I have made a ceaseless effort not to ridicule, not to bewail, not to scorn human actions, but to understand them. Wait, 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 wait. I love to ridicule, bewail, and scorn human actions. Then you might be a satirist. <sighs> satirist. Satirist. And by the way, Spinoza, he was Dutch. Yeah, I know, but I can't do a Dutch accent. Trust me, you can't do a British accent either. Hurtful.